Is it beautiful? Subscribe uh, uh, to our channel and ring the bell and you will not fail. Bye. So this is what you will require to make that uh, decoration. I'm going to use a 10 by 10 inch uh, block of timber but because I didn't get uh, a 10 by 10 I had to fix a 2 inch to the 8 inch that I had and to do that it's very simple you take this wood glue uh, you apply between the two uh, the pieces of timber and then you clamp them together and then you put them to dry so we have this 10 by 10 inch block i will also need uh, this it's a sandpaper i will show you how i made it so the sandpaper is supposed to smoothen the surface so that when i'm going to apply um, paint uh, it will come out nicely and uh, this is the paint I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, the United Paints uh, in color black and of course I will need a brush to do the painting and then another thing I will need are the nails. I bought a one inch, uh, one inch nails. A quarter kg is enough for, <coughs> for this project. So I will use this and what again do we need? I think that is all that we need for this project. So after you are done with sanding, you will have to remove the dust, the sawdust, before you start painting. So our project is ready for painting. Now we want to mark this board and we are going to use a compass actually I think from high school this is the first time I'm using this thing <laughs> so you're going to measure 11.5 centimeters and then find a center so you try a little bit so that you balance uh, all the corners I think this this spot is okay and then make a circle identify the starting point remember where we uh, began our circle so I'm going to mark this I will measure a centimeter centimeter sorry for all the adjustments so mark all round Now, after marking all round, we are going. To, we, we are now going to hammer these nails into these spots. So welcome back. After I did the nailing, remember it was uh, one centimeter apart. This is what I got. It's uh, not perfect, but it's uh, it's a circle. Now I'm going to start threading. So you need a string. I used an embroidery yarn. This is the roll that I have, an embroidery yarn. It's a size 10, but a size 6 can also do perfectly. So find the middle yarn 
on top up here so I'm going to use this one fasten your yarn there just normally make a knot and another to ensure that it's well secured and then we are going to thread so I will find the middle yarn down here so I'm going to thread into this one from the left to the right I go up come down again go up then I thread on this side the left yarn the left uh, side uh, needle uh, nail sorry so I do this and then I cross over into the right side yarn over I'm doing from the left to the right and then up here I will work on the next nail but down here I will repeat in the previous nail work in the next up here and then move now to the next down here next up here into the very same down here next next down here next up here and into the very same one uh, down here now what we are doing in this upper one we are going round uh, the nail once but we are doing it twice in the nails down here so we will repeat this process until we get to this uh, first nail that we did so you yarn one on top twice down here one on top and twice down so do this all round So in this last one, I am going to do this and then I cut my yarn and try to fasten yeah, to tie a knot. Just make it secure enough. And then you are done. Now I'm. We are now done with the light blue yarn. We are going to use white. But in this part, you will need a darning needle. The needle that we use to do our finishings, uh, you will need that. Uh, because we are going to go under this uh, weaved uh, part, so. The normal thread, this ball cannot get under this place. So you need a darning needle and then you need to thread your, your yarn. So I am going to cut my yarn somewhere here and this is what I have. And then I will join this yarn down here. In the middle uh, in the middle nail that we had done so this is where I am going to join do not mind the noise behind uh, my little boy is trying a, a prison break so I tie I knot this uh, white thread and then it's already on to this place now I will go uh, beneath It's a little bit tricky, but when you get it, it's it's good. So I'm going to go twice up here. And once down here. You remember in the with the light blue, we were going uh, once up there and twice down here. So this one, we're going to do the direct opposite. My dining needle is not long enough, but we will. I know it will do its work. So I go the second round up here. 
and then the struggle is real but it gets better go once yeah so this is it and then we go to the next nail up here this one I thread once and then I have gone once down here I thread the second round and then into the next then up here one as you can see um, I'm perfecting the art now it's getting easier to yarn so once and up here we go the second round and then we come back here but because we are using this uh, darning needle it means that at some point we will run out of thread so worry not just knot your project down here have made a knot now it means I will fasten at that and then add another yarn continue with the other yarn so I will join it again we will have to weave in these ends at the end of it but don't don't be frustrated I will show you how to hide them into the project. So I fasten and then I continue. So we are done twice up here. I'm going to the next. other one was easier to maneuver this one is taking a little bit more time but be patient we are getting there so keep doing this once underneath and uh, ensure that you don't uh, tangle your your yarn I hope that is English Anyway, so the next round here, So continue doing this until you get to this part where you're not supposed to go underneath and then I will show you what to do. Yeah, so we are almost at the end. I wanted to show you how to go about it here. ensure it goes above this uh, this previously worked uh, strings so it's this go to the next nail come under this and above 
the previously worked go into the same nail and from here you start working uh, the way we were working in the other round so I go once into the next nail next and twice here so I will finish off here and then work up to the end so I did up to this part uh, and isn't it beautiful yeah I love it too now I want to do the finishings if you've noticed I have really done so many knots here but it's important so that uh, the thread doesn't uh, run yeah so after knotting I am using my scissors and cutting the thread and then I will use you remember this glue that you were using yes I'm going to use it to ensure that these knots are well hidden and secured Here, I knot this next one. I cut the yarn and then I add some glue. This one ensures that uh, they are secured, they don't run. Yeah, so do this. up to the end so look at this beautiful art if you've loved this tutorial please subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified also share with friends so that we can keep learning these and many more together bye bye is it beautiful <laughs> subscribe to our channel and ring the bell and you're notified bye uh, I promised to show you how to make uh, this sandpaper so that it's uh, comfortable for your hands. So I will use this waste, um, waste wood and then I will take a sandpaper and wrap it like this. I take scissors and cut off the extra, extra sandpaper. And then I will take the nails, a few of them, and then nail it, uh, nail uh, the sandpaper. Yeah, I nail the sandpaper to this wood. It makes it comfortable when you're doing your sanding. do the four parts or even add an extra in the middle whichever is fine but the reason for this is to make it comfortable to use So this is it. You have a sandpaper. It's comfortable to do your sanding.